we have this massive perimeter sitting completely empty in our world and we just so happen to need 100,000 TNT blocks for our next project. And how can a perimeter help us with collecting the TNT? Well today we are going to build a crazy pass creeper farm inside the perimeter which will hopefully help us collect the 100,000 TNTs that we need. The creeper farm design we are going to build will produce us 150,000 gunpowder per hour and it's supposedly very simple to build designed by methods and I mean it does look simple but this has to be built inside the perimeter our perimeter which was built a while ago took 47 hours to make so I think we can all agree that the hardest part of this farm building is already done for us what we don't have is a couple of blocks for the farm build, like the sea pickles. I thought about collecting these manually, but since we need over 1700 sea pickles, I think there are better options, like making a farm for sea pickles. Yes, making a farm to get items to build a farm. This is the ultimate farmception. As you can see, farming sea pickles is so easy using this farm, generating like a thousand pickles in just a minute. There is always that one annoying item that takes half an hour to craft, the dispensers. We need like 450 of those. Get some string and get some sticks. Then you have a massive amount of bows which you need to craft into dispensers one by one. The rest of the blocks that were all easy to collect are in these shulker boxes here. And here's the perimeter we can finally dust off after letting it sit completely empty for 10 months. We started off by building the ground lever for this creeper farm, which has dispensers in the ground for a feature that I haven't seen any other farm use. I will explain what they do, but not right now. We got absolutely mobbed by all the slime spawning on top of the blocks here. I know that they are friendly and just want a hug, but hello, we are trying to build here. After we placed leaves on top of all the dispensers, we got to waterlogging them. And then goes exactly four sea pickles on top of each of the leaves. I know this is all very confusing and seems like a bunch of random blocks, but here is what the farm designer did. You have this thing that we built and there is actually a boat inside the dispenser. Now if you dispense that boat, it goes directly above the sea pickles. We also have a roof, so if a mob spawns down here, it gets into the boat and push out the top. And then imagine we have a portal here on the top, which means all the mobs are teleported away. That is how genius and easy this creeper farm is. The build is going great so far and our next step was supposed to be putting the boats on top of the sea pickles. This is kind of impossible because look at how many creepers there are and there is no way I'm going in there. So you could say we are in a bit of a pickle. I'm thinking about just finishing the rest of the build on top of here and just worrying about the boats later on. We then moved on to the nether side build, which is the place where we will collect all the gunpowder. The nether side is an easy system, at least for us. Creepers come to fall and die, then we use some pistons to push the items into hoppers, and the hoppers lead into shulker boxes. I should say boom, that's how easy it is to get shulker boxes full of gunpowder. But we gotta finish up the farm first. Remember the boats, we still need to get those dispensed. It's time to go into the farm where all the creepers are, but we are prepared. I have a lot of torches and Robin has some weapons. This will keep us safe, but let's see how it goes. I risked my life and went into this creeper filled farm, trying to light up everything. It wasn't easy and harmless as you can see, but at the end everything was lit up. 
So we moved on to dispensing the boats and thankfully after this we never have to come back here. After completing the boat thing, look what we have now. <laughs> All the creeper heads are out, so I guess the farm is kinda working. But the last thing is to light up all of these portals so we could actually get the gunpowder from them. Standing right here makes the farm work, but we are not getting the maximum rate. See, there are some other mobs spawning between the bedrock here because our cleanup job hasn't been the best. So what we'll need to do is remove all the blocks like this. I just hope that it doesn't take us too long. And now our farm should be working at its maximum rate. And here is what the nether side looks like. Holy creeper! It is absolutely insane how many creepers are falling down. But okay, now we are gonna AFK this farm for a bit to see if it actually works as advertised. The rate of this farm is 160,000 gunpowder per hour, which is crazy. And if you didn't know, we host this server on whyshosting.com. Our hosting website where you can use the code CREEPER and get 20% off from your first order. Thank you Wise Hosting for providing such a great server to play on. We AFK just a bit more than needed as you can see. There is about 1.3 million gunpowder here that was all collected in 8 hours of AFKing. But the gunpowder is not the only thing we need for the DNTs. We also need 400,000 sand as well. And this sand tuber here makes us 18,000 sand per hour. But this is not enough for us, so we are gonna build a bigger version of this sand tuber in another stronghold. And we didn't build just one new stronghold with four sand tubers, but two strongholds with four sand tubers each. I'm sorry, but that was a lie. Because we actually built three of them, so a total of 12 sand tubers we can run all at once. These hoppers used to be our collection system. But they can't handle our new sand tubers, so this is another thing we need to upgrade. But what does it look like when all the 12 tubers are running? I don't even know, but I wanna see it as much as you do, so let's fire them all up. And that's 4 dupers running. Now 8. And that's 12 dupers all running. Let's hop into the end and see what it looks like. And this is the 100,000 sand per hour being duped. As you can see, the blocks are broken down here and they go right into our shulker box loaders. And for the 100,000 TNT, we need the AFK sand for 4 hours. After we AFK our 400,000 sand, it was time to take all the shulker boxes and get to our final mission in this video. And that's our crafting setup. We have some sand here, some gunpowder here, put them together and we should have 100,000 TNTs in just a couple minutes. Okay, let's do it! After an hour and 35 minutes, we have a little over 100,000 TNTs all crafted into red shulker boxes. But from the last shulker box, exactly one stack of TNT is missing. I do have enough gunpowder for this, but instead of sand, we have sandstone. I wonder who crafted this. Finally, we have the 100,000 TNT blocks and we can start building the...